Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a bank business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a bank business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. Banks accept deposits from depositors and then lend the funds to other individuals and businesses. Banks play an important role in the economy. Specifically, liquidity. They enable individuals and businesses to pay for goods and services, investments, and assets that they would not have been able to afford otherwise. The costs of establishing a bank can be minimal. Because the banking industry is the most regulated in the country, the costs are significant. Banks typically require between $12 and $20 million in initial capital. You might be able to raise that money locally if you start a local community bank. Otherwise, you might have to look for investors. You must apply to regulatory agencies once the capital has been raised. Since the financial crisis, regulators have been more stringent in their application reviews. You can open your bank account once you've been approved. The ongoing costs of running a bank can vary. However, in general, expenses are 15% of non-interest expenses, with a national median expense of around $400,000 per branch. Your intended market is individuals and businesses are both preferred customers. Banks make money by accepting deposits and lending them to individuals or businesses. The primary cost of a bank is the infrastructure it constructs, which includes buildings and labor costs. A bank's basic function, on the other hand, is straightforward. The bank's money must be invested in such a way that it earns more than it costs to keep money on deposit. For example, a bank may accept general public deposits and pay them 0.05% on savings accounts. They will then be able to lend this money to others at market rates. The interest to spread is the difference between 0.05% and the market rate. This is the profit of the bank. Banks also profit from fees and other banking services such as business checking accounts, bank certificates of deposit, and money market accounts. Some banks also provide insurance. Customers can be charged for opening and maintaining a checking or savings account. Fees vary in type and amount, as well as in how they are charged. Some banks require a minimum deposit, while others charge monthly service fees ranging from $5 to $100 per year unless a minimum balance is maintained in the account. Most banks charge overdraft fees. Then there are the service fees for printing account balances, performing wire transfers, and a variety of other tasks. Banks typically make a net profit of 10% to 15%. The return on equity is between 7% and 10%. Some banks achieve a strong return on equity of more than 10%. Consider establishing a large network of ATMs to bring in more revenue for your bank in order to increase its profitability, provide more services. Banks can now do more than just bank. Consider providing insurance and retirement plans. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a bank business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.